Okay, we're vlogging. Man, it's, it's great to be a tiger. Hey, I'm EJ Williams, wide receiver, and I'm just out here finna do a photo shoot for our military appreciation game. Last year I wore number 39 in honor of my father and wished the game. I scored my first touchdown. Left side, wants the throw, goes to the end zone, throws, it's caught, touchdown, Clemson, and it's gonna be EJ Williams that comes up with the reception. This year I'm not gonna wear it because I feel like it was just a very special moment and it was just a once in a lifetime experience. I wanna keep it that way. And we're ready to be UConn tomorrow. Go Tigers. How y'all doing this week? It's Military Appreciation Day is uh, Saturday, so uh, as always, our team will be wearing all purple with purple accessories, and the coaches will be wearing camo pants. We've been doing this for 10 plus years. It started out a while ago. The National Guard approached us and asked us if we would be willing to do this. So we asked Coach Sweeney. He said absolutely. And then uh, a few years ago they updated the camo and, and now we work with the ROTC on campus to help us fulfill any size needs we might run into. Coaches love to wear these and, and support our military. Yep, yes sir, like always, my man Nick, my main man Nick, always getting me right. Uh, the camera, man. The camera's just used to me, man. It's used to you, right? No, it's, used, it's used to you. It's used to you, They don't buddy. make graphics where I'm holding a baseball bat and putting it on Instagram like man, they do for you. Stop it. All right, all right. So we got the beautiful orange, the solid orange Fridays. Okay, you can go with that. Got the pants here. You know, you always got to coordinate in some fashion, some way, shape, or form. Yeah, absolutely. My main man, Nick. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you got the purple pants, the orange logo. What does that give you? A sweet, nice, not too matchy, but matchy look. Right. A little contrast. A little but, contrast. Um, it's going to go well together. Exactly. Absolutely. Indeed. So now we dive into the shirts. Yeah, so what are we doing? Anything else you want to try? Maybe I mean, you can try the orange as well. Oh, so you just kind of want to see how it. Do you need a dressing room, sir? Uh, no, nah, I'll be fine. Okay. It's indeed for the game day fit. If I can't look good on the field, I will look good off. He needs all the help he can get looking good. Alright, You don't want to do. You don't want to be too matchy. You can't be too matchy. See how the white looks. Got the white shirt. Mmm. What do you think? It's doing too much? Whoa. That's pretty close. Whoa, Nick. Okay, okay. So I I'd I'd say. I'd say we do the white. It's the mm -hmm. white shoe. <laughs> is that what you want? Bro, that will look tremendous, bro. We both know it. It will look good, yeah. It will look tremendous. We got both. Okay. Ten and ten and a half. Two. That's not good. All right, so now we, we step into the kicks. This is when it gets serious. Let me give you a kick. There we go. All right. So now, these aren't your ordinary kicks, right? You gotta cut that. You gotta cut that, right? Look at that look. It's clean. Look at that look. Now you gotta make it look good. Though. Like gotta, I'm giving you the stuff to look, look good, good, but now you have to be able good, to make right? it look good, right? All right. So now we got shirt. Got the pants, skinny pants at the bottom. Yeah. Bruce brother, orange, uh, purple jersey. You ready to rock? You ready to rock? Yes, sir.
Hey, what's up guys? Spencer McAnally, Director of Marketing here at Clemson. We're in the Game Operations booth getting ready for Military Appreciation Day. we got a lot going on today in the Valley. Pre-game, we have a flyover, a C-17, that will be flying over after the National Anthem. we got a jump team jumping in, and we're honoring some of our ROTC members as dotting the I. Once we get in-game, we have a Hero of the Game recognition, OHT recognition, and a lot more that we're going to honor our military. Then we get to halftime, and that's when the festivities begin with our Tiger Band doing their traditional Military Appreciation Day show uh, with our Pershing Rifles and our Ranger Club. It's going to be a great day in the Valley. With today being Military Appreciation Day, you know Coach Sweeney always selects a member of the staff or one of our players to carry the American flag down the hill. It's a big honor, and today linebacker Trenton Simpson is going to be able to, to lead us down with that flag. You know, his father, Command uh, Sergeant Major uh, Simpson, spent 25 years in the United States Army, is in the Army Ranger Hall of Fame. So we thank him for his service. We thank him for allowing Trenton to be part of our family. It's going to be a really cool moment pregame. Those 27 years, it was it, 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 it all it was all worth it. I've led sons and daughters for many years. Took a lot of that away from my son's life, and to see him come off that, that hill for what I fought for for many years, hey, that was no better feeling than that. Trenton, I love you. Thanks for living out my dream 
Your dream, our dream. Ready, ready, green, green, making sure PT kind of gets set. Then I'm a little antsy on my car. Let's get this thing going. Great snap from Maddox. No, I got to give a little fake pump to BT. Then I'm out. And right here is where I kind of see it just open up. And I mean, <laughs> what a great job by the tight ends, D lineman, O lineman on this team. And then right here, I wouldn't take it a chance. I'd just say, hey, two hands on the ball and dive in there. <laughs> and man, got pumped up right here. Just. Let's go, let's go. I know definitely watching this on the sideline, it was crazy. Um, I knew it was going out there with the field goal team, and I wasn't I wasn't even like, I was listening to Coach V and everything. He was talking about on the sideline. Then I look up and I see him running it in. I'm like, oh. So it definitely caught me off guard. It's just, it's just awesome. I mean, that's what it's all about. You know, just you work so hard with your teammates and to see everyone so excited. And hey, it's just a great, and just another way to go score a touchdown. And just always, we do a great job at Clemson. We're always celebrating each other. And uh, there's Clay right there, <laughs> my boy. Will, hey Will, that was the best to see you score the touchdown. I was not expecting that. And to see you celebrate with Drew and Clay, I'm so proud of you, honey. That meant so much. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, she told me after the game, she's like, well, she said I was literally hyperventilating in the stands. I couldn't breathe. I heard them even on the, on people said after the game that the commentators are like, That's not Davo's son. That's Kathleen's son right there. So, uh, yeah, good little shout out for mom right there. I appreciate that. Third and the, almost the full 10, and Sheridan Jones, the interception for Clemson. Running over to the sideline. I think that's the exact same spot I ran over when I caught my pick last year. But yeah, you probably see a lot of us throwing up this. We've been, uh, that's the squad, man. The whole DB core, some of the linebackers, we all squad. You see everybody throwing up squad, man. Great play by Sherry right here, man. Uh, <laughs> kind of guarding him a man and had quick eyes to turn and make that pick. I mean, that was really exciting. So if you're checking a receiver and let's say I'm on top of him, the quarterback will try to throw a back shoulder ball, so he'll try and put it to where the receiver will be running this way. He could catch it this way, so that's why you turn inside first. I was looking for the back shoulder, and this is this is rare that I actually found it on the first try. So I had turned inside. And he had left the ball inside, so I just flipped my hips and I came here. Receiver catch the ball. You gonna hear everybody mouth on the sideline. You hear coaches. You might even hear your mother in the stands, but. All the time, you know what I'm saying? We out practice yelling how we gonna get the ball. Any ball in that vicinity that we could get to, we, we need it and we're gonna get it. Coach Sweeney always says, the days are long, but the years are short. And I really feel that today. Fulfilling. Electrifying. Irreplaceable. My word was dream. A lot of people don't really understand how hard it takes to do things like go to college, be an athlete in college. If you dream big and you put your dreams to the test, you never know what you can accomplish and who you could be. When we get on the bus and we're going around the stadium, I look outside the window and I see all the fans getting excited. They're clapping, they're cheering. And it's nothing like the feeling when you get to the rock and you look into the stadium, you see 85,000 fans just screaming. I chose fulfilling because that's really what my Clemson experience has been. You know, my whole life I dreamed of coming to this university and playing football and, you know, winning a national championship, doing all these things. And really the whole experience has just been exactly that. So I've made a lot of friends. I've made a lot of brothers. I've made a lot of, a lot of family, you know. Those guys have been there through thick and thin, on the hard days, on the good days. Accomplished. Discovery. Perseverance. Experience. Thankful. I'm the second in my family to graduate from a four-year university. I'm the first to actually graduate earlier than I'm supposed to. I've had some challenges that I've had to face, and each time I feel like I've worked hard and shown resilience, shown that I could come back better and stronger than before. I not only discovered who I am, but who I want to be. Find what you love, you find your passions, you find what you want to do. I was privileged to be in the nursing program. It was a great experience, great instructors, I and mean, I'm just really thankful for it. It's been good to just kind of look back on it and see all that you've accomplished uh, whenever you just put your head down and work. Grateful. 
enriching. Relationships. Grateful. Appreciative. Empowering. Yeah, I would say my words relationships just because I think that's what's going to last once I leave here. Just making memories and, you know, spending a lot of time with them and going through the whole process of coming to college and growing through all that. You know, I've been a part of a culture. I've been a part of a family that has invested in me, has loved me, has just given me the ultimate experience. While I am going on to the next chapter, I know I'll always have a, a place to come home to, which is here at Clemson. I've just been grateful for the past five years here, meeting all these new people, making friends, all the opportunities and the relationships I've made, connections through Paul Journey. My girlfriend, she brought a new perspective into my life. Just one good thing that Clemson brought to me for sure. I wouldn't be here without friends and family and the opportunity that Clemson University has blessed me with. Memories. Refreshing. Joy. Thankful. Journey. A once in a lifetime experience, being able to come to school here and play football here. It's just been an awesome journey and created a lot of memories along the way. Just this experience has literally been just that, a, a breath of fresh air and really just find a part of myself that I never really knew I was even looking for. We are who we say we are. Whenever I'm old, I'll look back on my times in the locker room or just hanging out during the summer when it's just us here. Thinking back at all the, the championships and the experiences and the people that have poured into me, helped me become who I am today. I'm just so thankful for all those times and all those things. I think God showed me like the big picture vision of where I would end up. It, it never is a journey you think is gonna be entirety, but like hopefully if you see it through and you keep going, it'll be the one you want. And I've, I've loved my journey. You don't have another red shirt year we don't know about, huh? Seventh year, maybe? <laughs>